there is some stuff in it. Ugh, I'm gonna try not to hit this. I'm already seeing a problem. <laughs> so, it, it's, it, it could be, I, and I hate to say it because I'm definitely thankful, it could be the worst box ever. Because if you look at the bottom of it, yeah, yeah, I see a thing there. Wow, this is this is really flipping weird, isn't it? I, and this is something I don't think any of you have ever seen before. This is actually inside my house. Maybe you've seen a little bit of like my computer area when I do tag talk with Jangular, which we need to film some more soon, Jang. Seriously, I, we have so many ideas and we just haven't. He's been busy. I've been busy. We need to film more soon. Hopefully, we can get that done because a lot of you liked it. And if you haven't seen it, I'll have a link like right here in the top right corner, wherever that happens to be where you can check out our episodes of Tag Talk, because I think they're awesome, and I really want to do more of them. That being said, I got some packages to open, and I just, why not do it from this angle instead of doing it on the workbench? That's totally not a cop-out for me not wanting to be out in the garage right now when it's like 28 degrees out there. It's really flipping cold. And one of these packages is from Hasbro. So it might be something cool. It might be uh, terrible. It might just be a charger and a... Uh, takedown, which I really, God, I wish they actually did pay attention to my channel because I would do anything for a shell strike right now. Like, I want that blaster so bad. Be prepared to see, like, a bunch of videos about the shell strike from me. How to use it in a loadout, mod videos, different mod ideas, and so forth. I am stoked for that blaster. Like, seriously. The shell strike DS6 is gonna be a big deal to me, and I will do everything I can to make it the absolute best blaster. Oh, I'm so excited. That being said, I got one here. I think this one's from Dr. Jex, so I'm gonna open this one up first and kind of build up to things. I also got a package from Buff Daddy, which he vaguely told me he sent me, but only because he uh, forgot something in it. Let's start with the one from Dr. Jex. I know, I'm, I'm not gonna edit this down. Maybe I will. I don't really want to, though. I'm just If you got better things to do on Christmas, I envy you, because uh, I sure as heck don't. Box contains, yes. If you have any questions, grab me on Discord. I'll also be in the comments. Dr. Jex. That's an amazingly concise and pretty note. Let's see what, oh, oh snap. There's actually a bunch of stuff in here. I wasn't expecting this. So, it's a worker bag with a bunch of random darts in it none of the i don't even know what the little green ball is that's definitely strange here's another oh brand new and packaged streamlines this goes for the darts uh the unsealed dart or see no it would be sealed dart collection which is a thing that I'm going to build upon as I go along, because I, I think it's cool. I think collecting nerf ammo unopened is, like, the best thing you could possibly do. I, it really does... In my opinion, like, the, the ammo is really underrated. And he sent me a bag of, it looks like, completely sealed ballistic balls as well. No, nope, they've been opened. He gave me the card. Unfortunately, yeah, so, like, damn, dude. Like, that would have been cool if that was completely unsealed. But I could use more ballistic balls in general. They're hard to get your hands on. And then... These are Phobo arrows. It, and they're really dusty. It's like he found this in wherever they store the Ark of the Covenant. That's random. These are way different than the ones I have for mine. Arrow booster pack. Well, this is something I probably would have never had. I never even considered getting Phobo arrows. Again, darts for the dark collection. Skulls for the Skull Throne. These are darts he... Dr. Jack's Prototart... Prototype 8-count Cheesehead Dart. Classified or maybe not. Jex Labs USA. Cats, can you please not rub your face in the camera and move it? That would be great. Well, I... I have no idea. We'll have to give those a shot. That's definitely different, Dr. Jex. What else we got in here? Um... It's a Boomco card. Just, just a Boomco card. Was there Boomco darts? Uh, the front of a, a hammer shop that has been killed at some point. I am I'm very confused. Uh, broken mechanical or no broken? 
colored pencil. It's been so long since I've seen one of those. And then here is one more little box. Heavy duty command fire chode muzzle and mounting hardware. Okay. I believe this is for... Oh, those are... That's a beautiful selection of hardware for the barrel. It's got, like, brass fittings on it. And... That is... Oh, moon pie package is what you used, huh? Huh. That actually might work really good for my command fire. Looks like you made it out of PVC by melting it onto the barrel. That might be a pretty decent idea to use, actually. You did pretty good work on that one, man. Well done, well done. Yeah, I can see where you, like, fitted it using a heat gun. That's totally different. Thank you very much, Dr. Jex. There's definitely stuff in there I did not have at whatsoever. I'm still trying to figure out what the hammer shot was for. It's like the skull of my enemy that I can mount on the wall. I need to get a little plaque for it. Just like this was a hammer shot and then it was killed. Thank you very much, sir. Now let's grab the one from Buff Daddy, which I legitimately only have an idea of what one thing in here would be because the rest of it is like, <laughs> he's like, oh crap, I forgot a thing to send you so you can't actually use one of the things I put in here. And it was like bow arms, which is a, uh, oh, that, yeah, I probably needed those at some point. He said he'll send them off. I really, I mean, I don't want Buff Daddy to have to worry about me. He's got enough stuff he has to worry about, but I really appreciate him sending out this box. So just completely indiscriminately. Oh my god, there's like a big fluffy thing in here. Looks like Nemo. Did you put Nemo's corpse in here? Cat, you're interested because I'm opening a cardboard box. It actually like is the corpse of Nemo. Oh, it's a hat. Has it been uh has it been washed? Question is, should I worry? That's I mean we'll just we'll just put on the, the fish head. My, I don't think there's anything else in it. Yeah, there we go. So this is the thing he told me he forgot the bow arms for, uh, which I'm I'm super stoked. Hopefully, he sends those off to me because I want a marshmallow crossbow. These things are ridiculously strong for what they are. Look at the plunger tube. Like that should give you an idea of why this blaster is so crazy. They can hit so hard, and I. Oh, dude, I am, I'm stoked. So please send those off to me. I will definitely build that into a blast. Oh, hey, and this is something that Homely bought for me. This is one of those blasters you never think you'd ever have. A Creamsicle Busby Big Blast, or 4B. And just hold it, oh my God, it actually works flawlessly. This is, like, I think the rarest kind of the Big Blast. You don't see them very often, and it's very in a very attractive color scheme. This one needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It looks like it's got scuffed up. It was probably a thrifted find, but Big Blasts are really nice tanks that you can put in blasters or just use them on their own. These were an NIC staple for years. Many times they were actually banned. They have pretty big tanks, and not as big as, like, a uh, Titan or anything like that but with a much better air release, so they were still really dumb powerful. And this color, you don't see it too often. So thank you very much. I believe that was Homely that bought that for me, and then Buff Daddy sent it off. He was selling a couple things. There's something else in the bottom of the... F what is... Splatomatic Thunder Splat. 50 caliber paintball shotgun. What? What even is this, dude? Like, it looks like it breaks open and has like a... What? Pistol Splat. Pistol Splat. Like... I... I'm... I, I'm... This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like I've seen, I've got another version. I don't think it's like this. No, it's definitely not like this. And that was sent to me from Pirate Johnson. It's uh, the JT Splatmaster version of this. This is, it looks like it breaks open and stuff like that to insert a magazine. And then I have no idea what the nerfing capabilities of these are. I'm actually scared to open it. I don't, this is, how hard are these to find brand new in package? 
That's so bizarre. You can see, like, it's got a pretty decent-sized plunger tube and stuff in it, too. It's got gears and whatnot as well. That is bizarre! It's a break act a, a, a folding pump-action shotgun, like the Burgess pump-action shotgun. That is... That is crazy, dude. I don't even know. I really don't even know. That is something that is entirely too weird, Buff Daddy. Thank you very much. If you want to check out uh, what Buff Daddy normally does, that is, of course, blasterhub.com. Also one of the f people that usually gets their hands on things first. And they do excellent write-ups. Not, not videos. They do videos as well, but most of their stuff is doing write-ups with Blaster Hub. And they're an amazing way to get news in the hobby. But, of course, now it's time for the big one which I legitimately don't have any idea what could be in here. And it came before Christmas. Hopefully it's not Fortnite stuff. I'm really tired of the Fortnite stuff, to be perfectly honest. I am not digging the amount of Fortnite blasters I've been getting. Hopefully it's... I would, I would be so happy, so happy if it was the Shell Strike, but I know it won't be. But it would make me so flippin' happy, and I really wanted to capture that on camera, but of course, normally, Hasbro doesn't send me that kind of stuff until months after it comes out, especially when it's a blaster I want to get my hands on, and it's really annoying when I get it, like, months later. smallest box by far, and it seems like the most densest box. Hashtag Nerf Nation on it. Let's see. Can we open it up? Oh, huh, okay. Well, there is some stuff in it. Ugh, I'm gonna try not to hit this. I'm already seeing a problem. <laughs> so, it, it's, it, it could be, I, and I hate to say it because I'm definitely thankful, it could be the worst box ever. Because if you look at the bottom of it, yeah. Yeah, I see a thing there. Motorized. 20 Ultra Dart. <sighs> Nerf Fortnite Micro Shots Battle Bus for the Dolt Collection. This is actually really cool. The Fortnite Micro Hand Cannon? That, that's awesome. That's one of the coolest looking jolts I've ever seen. This will sell well, even if it wasn't just Fortnite. I mean, you could remove the Fortnite logo off it if you really... This is nice. We've got the Micro ARL, also pretty cool looking, all things considered. I, it's weird when they do, like, it's almost like the ones they do that aren't actual, like, Nerf Blasters or, like, the Fortnite. The Fortnite Micro Shots are really interesting. Like, I don't know if I could hate them because they seem to work better than the normal Micro Shots. Like, the they do a whole bunch of the Star Wars ones looked okay, but then they did, like, the... the Avenger micro shots, which some of them look pretty cool. Those are also okay. But a lot of the ones where they like miniaturize nerf blasters don't work all that well, even though this is a miniature nerf blaster. I don't know. They're expensive. They're like 10 bucks each. Ooh. Got a hat. Got another hat. I guess we're swapping hats. And I actually legitimately like this one. Does it fit? It does. Now I look even more like Cartman. And then we've got, <laughs> uh, not bad, not bad. I've got a drawstring dump pouch here for Nerf darts. I don't know why I don't ever see these on store shelves anywhere. Not that I would ever use it for anything. It does clip to you. It does hold darts. Holds over 75 darts, it says. But I never see these on store shelves anywhere. But more gear is always nice. Uh, a nice big Nerf or Nothing sticker. I'll, I'll definitely use that for something. Tis the season for epic nerf battle. Oh, it's signed by a whole bunch of people! It's been an incredible year for nerf, and we're excited for all the battles to come this year. Thank you for being part of the nerf nation and spreading good cheer that it's that it's nerf or nothing. We're settling, setting the gold standard for the holiday season with the new nerf Ultra 1 blaster, the nerf Fortnite micro shot blasters, and festive branded swag. We hope you share this exclusive... Two words... Product drop on your channels using hashtag nerf and hashtag nerf nation. Happy holidays from nerf. Unfortunately, I don't think I know any of the people on this card. But it, it's super cool that they signed all this for me. Now, I'm actually really glad 
they sent this off to me. More, more Altered Arts. And then, the most hated blaster in existence, the Ultra One. I've held one. Uh, it was actually a 3S lipo powered one I held at Ragnar Oktoberfest. And amazingly enough, they were like, you know, it's garbage, it's garbage, it's terrible, it's garbage. On 3S, it actually, and even they were confused about this, it worked really good on a 3S, just shooting the normal Ultra One darts. Now, does that mean it's worth the $50 they want to sell for it? Is it worth the new ammo type? That's where things get a little foggy, but the actual idea of the Ultra One, I don't hate. It was comfortable for me. I have rather average small hands, so it worked perfectly for me. I liked the dart storage in the back of it. Decent capacity. It was easy to reload. It worked. The distances weren't the greatest, but again, 3S LiPo will fix that. Actually, what batteries does this thing take stock? 4C batteries. So it should have a decent ability to modify it and have a battery inside of it. 4 is not quite 6, so that might be an issue, but we'll find out. Fires up to 120 feet, and that should be the biggest asterisk they've ever put on a package, because it is, yeah, range varies, that's a good way of putting it. I'm not going to hate on this until I give it a legitimate review. A lot of us just hate what it stands for, Hasbro. A lot of us hate the fact that you put all this marketing into a blaster that is, at best, mediocre. That, I think, is the biggest issue. Honestly, the darts might even be better, at least from like an accuracy and distance standpoint, than Rival. And I think the darts themselves aren't a terrible idea. I think the darts themselves could be slightly changed to make them a little bit more heavier in the head without, you know, causing damage to children. And that would make them a lot more stable in flight, and that would give you some options when it comes to, like, you know, new blasters in the future, making them actually accurate and farthest blasting. That's actually something I noticed. They really do bang on the farthest flying ner nerf dart, but they don't say anywhere on this thing about accuracy. Nope, pinpoint accurate, never mind. Extreme distance, innovative flight tip, lightweight foam, aerofin technology. Okay, well, they try to say it's accurate. You know what? I'm going to give it a fair review. I, I don't think a lot of people will give this a fair review. I'm going to do my best. I might like it. You never know. I'm one of those. I liked Boomco. Everybody else hated Boomco. I happen to be a big fan of it. But the, I think the biggest issue with Ultra is that we don't know how this is going to go from here. There are blasters that have been, you know, that we haven't seen any pictures of anything else, but we know, like, through, like, a target thing that there's more Ultra Blasters coming. And hopefully they do come out, and hopefully they're good. And I'm really interested to see how these work in, like, a Springer-powered blaster, because that's going to be interesting. And if they want to do their own dart DRM and stuff like that, I, I don't think a lot of us would care if the darts were actually good. I, my biggest reason for not absolutely hating the idea of ultra darts is because i honestly don't think the foam dart that 50 caliber foam dart is exactly the best thing in the world if you look at most modified blasters you look at fdls and calibers and stuff like that they all shoot short darts and inherently just cutting down a standard foam dart into a smaller size makes them more durable makes them more accurate makes them fly farther because the weight distribution is better you can hold more of those on you than you can with like you know full length darts and I'm guessing there's a really good reason why companies can't just use that as new blasters. Like, if the Ultra 1 series was marketed using short darts, a lot of us would be extremely happy, I would say. But it's not. It's obviously based around this new dart type, which is a smaller, slightly shorter mega dart. But the, the foam itself, I like. Now, yes, everybody's going to say, oh, well, Drax snapped one in half. And that's totally true. But you really have to try to break an Ultra Dart. You really have to literally bend it in half. If you just bend them, like normally, like two fingers like this normally, they don't break. They're quite durable in that regard. I don't know why I'm talking about it when I... Ooh. So here's an Ultra Dart, the much hated, and it's way too light. But if I take this and I bend it, it doesn't split in half. It just turns back to normal. Bend it the other way. Like, you really have to try to break these darts, and they sure recover a lot better than your standard foam dart. If I did half of that with your, your standard Nerf dart, this would be completely worthless. So you, 
you basically look at a standard full length nerfed art wrong and it's completely worthless. So I don't hate the idea, but they're they're so light. It's there's no weight to this at all. They're not accurate from what I've seen. And that's I it's the marketing. I, we just most of us hate the marketing. The fact that it's it's not a good product from every other review I've ever seen that you're trying to market as like the best thing ever by putting some gold foil on one side of it. But I think it looks cool. I like the design. It's weird because this one has like a camo on it that I don't remember seeing in real life. But I'm not going to open it right now. I'll save this for a review. This will be fair. I'll put this out before the end of the year. Give it a shot. I, it's just, it, I think the other thing that annoys me is that like this is like three months late now. It's been on, it's literally been on store shelves since September, and they're just now sending me one. That, that's, that's what gets me. Anyway, this video's gone on for how flippin' long? Like 20 minutes too long. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for the hat, Hasbro, and thank you very much for the scarf. These are definitely cool and useful. And I'll check, I'll check this out. And thank you very much, Buff Daddy, for the weird shotgun thing in the Creamsicle Big Blast that was bought by Homely and then sent to me through Buff Daddy. But that shotgun is really weird. And that marshmallow crossbow. I really hope I can get the bow arms for that. Because I'm super stoked. I've wanted one and they're kind of prohibitively expensive online. They want like a bunch of money for them for some reason. Not a whole lot. I've never seen like a modded one on like Facebook or Reddit or anything like that. And it's a really gigantic plunger tube. That with like proper bungee setup and stuff like that can be a destroyer. And of course Dr. Jex for the darts. The muzzle for the uh, command fire, which I have my command fire. That's the other thing I need to get done. Uh, the command fire chainsaw integration. I got to finish that up. I, I have some awesome fans. Seriously. And I, I don't deserve it. And I'm hoping that I can bring more joy to you than appreciate what I do in 2020. <sighs> Let me know if there's actually some videos that you want to see down in the comment section. If you've watched the last 22 minutes and you want to see, like, hey, I'd like to see a video on this. Let me know. Because I would like to do that video. There's a lot of things that I know I want to do, but there are video ideas that I don't even think of that people, you know, you could just ask me. I, I, I make videos tr practically every day. You don't see all of them, but if you were, hey, if that's a good idea, yeah, I'll do a video on that. Are you kidding me now? If it's like, I want you to put a Maverick and make it HPA with an Absolver shotgun cylinder rotating. To, it's like, obviously I can't do that. That's not exactly a thing that I am capable of doing. But if you have video ideas you want to see, yeah, man, hit me up in the comment section. I always read my comments. Hi, Kenny Pingo! I love my Pingo. Anyways, I'm, of course, Walcom S7. I hope you have a wonderful whatever you happen to celebrate today, whether it's Toyota Thon, Honda Days, anything. I hope you have a merry version of it. And, of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different video.